Any Pat likes to say the the biggest step all season is between week one and week two. Um, did you? But then he said he was a little disappointed in sort of the mistakes today. Sort of, how do you view the progress from last week to this week as an offense? Uh, I mean, listen, we got our first ACC win, but it was definitely a sloppy game. Um, you know, didn't play the kind of football we need to play to to go where we want to go. Um, you know, it's almost a good thing it happened. Uh, you know, we, we persevered, we came, and, and we got the win, which is all that matters. So we're going to learn from the film, and then, uh, you know, really, you know, my message to the team is we're, you know, we're coming ready to practice this week. You know, we got a big game, and it all starts in practice. And what's it been like developing a relationship with, with Jordan? And, you know, obviously he comes in as a freshman. I'm sure you want to get to know all the freshmen, but to have a freshman be your leading receiver for two games is, is probably a pretty unusual situation. What do you feel like what went into all that? Um, I mean, I would say, you know, early, early on, I, I saw that, um, you know, his talent level and, uh, you know, he's, he, he's a special kid and, and he really off the field is in his personality and the way he, you know, it's like he's a junior almost or a sophomore. It's not like he's a true freshman, the way he goes about his business. So uh, that's probably the most impressive part that I've seen from him. And, uh, you know, I just really love playing with him. Okay, you're able to get uh, Jared Ryan involved. Okay. Uh, you're able to get Jared Wayne involved. He uh, caught three passes on that one possession. Um, how are you, how big was that to be able to get him involved in the offense since he hasn't, hasn't had a lot of production yet up until this point? Right, right. You know, getting Jared involved was, was big. Um, you know, he missed a little bit of last week. So, um, you know, when he was here uh, this week of practice, just got the timing back down, moved him around a little bit to get him some touches. Um, you know, he's another guy that reminds me just like Jordan. Those two guys kind of, you know, resemble each other a lot with how they go about their business, two pros. Um, that are both young players, so you know, really excited to have them uh, have those two guys. Kenny Pat said it was a good week of practice. Were you surprised that things were, were a little sloppy at times today? No, I mean, listen, they're they're a really tough team. They play hard. You watched that North Carolina game; it was you know a really tight game going into the fourth quarter, and then the kind of wheels fell off for them. Um, but you know, they're a real tough team. They play hard. Got some good players. Seven's a good player. Six is good. You know, two in the secondary. One of the better secondaries we'll probably see um, in terms of athleticism and speed and. Um, you know, they mix it up a lot. So, it was, you know, it was definitely a challenge, and we knew going into it would be a four-quarter game. Kenny, Pat uh, said after the game that you know, he, he thought, I guess, on, on the, your interception, it was a drag route. And, I guess, did you think that they were going to be in man and not have a guy sitting there in zone? I, what did you see there? They were in man, and the kid did a good job of, of coming off and, and making a play. I didn't see him. Um, you know, I crossed him out early in the progression because of, you know, what I saw. Um, you know, but I got to be better there. I can't turn it over in the red zone. So it's something that I'll learn from and uh, move on.